Well, the holidays are all about family and about giving back, so why not combine the two? Here to tell us more about how we can give back with our family members, especially the little ones, are the co-founders of Family Entourage, Kelly Gillespie and Mayling Nasehart. Good morning, ladies. Good, morning. Good to see you and your little ones again. <laughs> uh, so tell us really, I mean, we want to instill early on this idea of, of giving back during the holidays with our little ones. And so there are some great ideas that you can do with them, right? Yes, it can be so easy to get wrapped up in, I want this or Santa or mommy, get me that. Um, but if you are able to, you know, take some of these ideas that we have up on our blog and, and put them into practice, then it helps kind of create that perspective for the holiday season. One of the easiest things that we've done is starting from even from a very young age is adopt, um, adopt a kid or adopt a family, whether it's Toys for Joy or Toys for Dots or Ronald McDonald House, have your kids pick out a toy that they love. And when you go shopping mm -hmm. or online shopping, have them pick it out for that family. And so our kids picked out these Melissa and Doug sets for them. They, are, they love Melissa and Doug. So we, had, we took it and we gave it at Toys for Joy last week. And right. so bless some kids that way. And so then they start to understand understand the idea mm -hmm. of why you're you're giving to, to families who may be less fortunate. Yeah, because you can have a conversation about it when you're going to go pick it out. And then when you give it, whether you put it in the box, you know, the donation box, or whether you actually get to give it to the family in person, you're able to have that conversation with your kids. Yeah. And so, uh, Kelly, I know you also say that being involved in the classroom, yeah. uh, maybe your kid's classroom is a great way to, to give back. Absolutely. Uh, all the schools and classrooms are going to be so excited if you tell them that you want to help <laughs> in any way, right? And and that can be, you know, as extreme as, you know, maybe helping with playground equipment or beautification of the school. Or it can be as, as simple as, like, donating your favorite book. You know, Zonder Kids has a yeah. great, curate, um, curates a great collection of books. And then you can create a reading nook within the classroom. Like, A Suites here has this teepee. You can see that the kids are down there reading and playing with the, um, you know, play campfire from A Suites. Just create a cozy, inviting um, atmosphere where it inspires kids. They want to learn. They're excited about seeing either a new picture book or reading something new um, and it makes it you know a, a great spot for that and they love the teepees for that it it is. Is. it's just a, a cozy little nook for them that something they... about retreating to your own <laughs> space right are there, are there different projects or different ways to give back that you think are better for certain age groups well that's a great point Lauren you know it's really important to look at how old your kids are and what they can do and whether you're doing an event or um, volunteering in an organization you want to make sure you go to their website and see what the age requirements or restrictions can be. You know, for, for Joshua and our family, he wasn't able to um, volunteer at Toys for Joy day of, but he was able to go the night before because they like kids of all ages, and he helped set up the toy room where we gave away 20,000 toys the next day. So yeah, it's really That's important perfect. to look at. And also what, you know, what they can handle too. You know, the little, the little ones might not be able to go as long as the bigger kids <laughs> This little one's ready. She's moving around now, ready to donate. Something fun, too, is, you know, as you think about preparing your holiday meal, is not, you know, oh, is remembering to get a meal for somebody else. That might be just a, something as simple as getting a gift card to the local grocery store and, and handing it to someone when you find out their need. Or, um, you know, a lot of local grocery resorts, I love this because they find out from the San Diego Food Bank what they need. They do all the work <laughs> yes. for you. They make it really simple, and they're already pa packaged, ready to go at the grocery store. Yes. So you just, you know, when you go to the checkout center, it's right there, and they just ring you up. This was only $5, Perfect. and it has all the stuff that San Diego Food Another fun thing to keep in mind is, of course, we're all going to shop, right? It's the, it's the season of giving, and gifts are included a lot, but there are a lot of, like, brands and companies that are giving back when you purchase, so it's a win-win for both, right? Um, whether it's clothing, like the boys are wearing tea collection, and they have an element that gives back to candles, to home goods. There are so many brands, if you do a little bit of research, that you'll be able to see that they give a percentage back as well, which which is fantastic because then everyone's benefiting from the sale. Absolutely. Well, thank you kids for being so good. <laughs> there. Good sports this morning. Thank you both, Mayling yes. and Kelly. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thank you. We'll be right back. Much more coming up on Good Morning San Diego.